what happens to the surface of your carbon steel wok when you put vinegar in it. So I forgot, uh, you shouldn't put a wok, you shouldn't put vinegar in a wok. That will strip the uh, surface. So this is an example of what happens. I wasn't thinking, so I put the uh, maltose vinegar solution into the wok. So when you, can, when you look at the wok, you can see where where the surface actually has been stripped off by the uh, vinegar. I put about three tablespoons of cooking oil in there. So I'm just going to season the wok here. I'm going to put about Three tablespoons of salt in there. Shut it off right now. So this way, you corrected the uh, the vinegar vinegar part. At the same time, you're cleaning out the uh, wok again. So you can see the marks are gone right now. So you just build up another layer of carbon again. So the salt actually acts like a, a scrubber. It takes out all the sticky parts. Oh, just like that. Now I'm gonna dump the salt and then we're gonna put some fresh oil in there just to reseal the wok. So now I'm gonna put about three or four tablespoons of oil into the wok and just take a paper towel just to uh, reseal the wok so you don't have to do it perfectly after a while the, uh, the marks from the vinegar that took off the uh, surface will reform again so nothing to worry you just uh, keep cooking and you'll have a nice hard surface that will be non-sticky again. Thanks for checking out my video. Also get a chance to look at some of my other videos on my channel. As well as be sure to subscribe. And I'd like to thank all my viewers for helping me win the top 20 best Chinese food blogs in the world. And I was also awarded the top 40 best China YouTube channels in the world. And please subscribe by clicking over here.